Volkswagen literally translates into English as people's car. Back in the 1930s, when Ferdinand Porsche was tasked with designing a vehicle for the masses, people wanted little more than durable and cheap. The Beetle fit that bill perfectly. Today, a car for the people, specifically Americans, needs to be big and relatively affordable. The 2018 Volkswagen Atlas nails those two bullet points, offering seats for up to seven passengers at a starting price of $31,245. Meeting that basic criteria means that VW probably has a sales success on its hands. Thing is, there isn't any one area where the Atlas stands out from the rest of the herd. From its styling to its powertrain. It seems that Volkswagen is content to do the bare minimum to make a competitive crossover, and in this currently very crowded marketplace that's just not good enough to be a segment leader. From the outside, VW has definitely erred on the vanilla side of plane, with just enough flourish to round off the Atlas corners and make it more than just a basic box. The slab sides are so massive that the optional 20-inch wheels look almost a size too small. On the positive side, Indented kinks at the leading edges of the front fenders are a nice touch, and the bland but inoffensive styling matches that of the current Passat and Jetta models. Clearly, this straight-line approach is what Volkswagen's stylists think Americans want. The pumped-up Passat theme continues inside, with a long and mostly flat dashboard and center stack broken up by a couple of silver plastic and wood-trimmed panels. The good news is that most everything you'll need to mess with on a daily basis has a dedicated button, including a volume knob and three dials for the climate controls. But there's bad news for those who revel in premium materials. The top third of the dash, door panels, and all the other various bits of trim are a reasonable rubbery material with a nice grain. Anything you touch below that, though is the kind of hard plastic that Chrysler and Dodge Riley got dinged for in the mid-aughts. The standard gauge cluster includes an analog speedometer and tachometer, and the available digital cockpit replaces those with a 12.3-inch LCD screen but only comes on the top-shelf cell premium grade. Making the high-tech gauges optional across the board would help alleviate some of the interior boringness. Check out the quick overview of the digital cockpit below and stick around for a look at the second and third row, the cargo area, and for a comparison of the various trim levels of the Atlas range.